In front of me, I have a couple different models of Toro self-propelled lawnmowers. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the differences between a couple of the different models, the base model, and maybe a little bit more of an expensive model that has some additional features. And if you're looking to pick up a mower, you're looking at the Toro self-propelled mowers, it can get a little confusing as to which one is right for you. So hopefully this video gives you some direction. I'm kind of talking in the context of going to your big box store like Home Depot and picking up a mower that they have there. So in front of me here, I have the Toro 21 inch self-propelled. This is the rear wheel drive version. And it's also the same size wheels on the back and the front. You'll notice on this side, I have the Toro Recycler 22 inch. Now this is the high wheel in the back. And this is probably my third summer with this mower. So let's talk about some of the differences between these two mowers. And hopefully it'll give you some guidance and direction on which one might be right for you and why you might wanna pay just a little bit more and get the recycler with the smart stow because that is really cool. Let's jump right into it. This is the Toro 21 inch, rear wheel drive like I mentioned, 140 cc's. The 22 inch that I have is 163 cc and you'll notice that there's no side discharge on this 21 inch. For some reason, Toro recently has decided that they aren't gonna include the side discharge on the mowers. And I think that spans most of their self-propelled line, if not all of it. And then back when I bought this about three years ago, it did have the side discharge. So this flap opens up and then you stick this little side discharge chute, has a couple of tabs on the plastic that it holds it and you've got your side discharge. Now the bags on them are pretty much the same. They both go in the back there. The Recycler 22 sits up a little higher, so it hooks in a little higher. It's a little less to reach and grab, whereas the 21 inch hooks down low. So the flap here is a lot bigger and then it kind of sits at a weird angle. So it's a little bit lower to take the bag out. When you bring it back in, you lift the flap up and it sits in there. I find it to be a little bit more cumbersome than the Recycler 22 inch Smart Stow. Could be personal preference there and because I'm used to this, but for me, this feels a lot easier to take in and out. There's just a little bit more space here between the handlebars it feels. So I'll just stick that in there and we're good to go. I haven't had any issues with either of them like leaking out. This one seals a little bit better than this one. There's a bit of a gap up here, but it still isn't too big of an issue. So let's talk about side discharge and how you get that with the new models and this one in particular that I have here, the 21 inch. So Toro has come out with this rear side discharge and I have a separate video I'll link in the description below. But essentially, instead of having a side discharge, you take the bag off and you take this funky piece of plastic here and you put it where the bag was. So you set that there and that becomes your side discharge in a sense. It's the opposite side of the Recycler 22, which to me, when I'm mowing, I'm so used to it spraying out the right side that this is the opposite, it's spraying out the left side. Um, and it becomes your side discharge out the rear. Interesting concept. I haven't used it a lot, and so I don't know with thick grass if it would clog in this big, this is basically a 90 degree elbow here. And I don't know, it may hit here and get clogged coming out. It is pretty large though, so I don't know. So that's one thing to consider here is if you're used to side discharging, you're going to have to send away for this rear side discharge. And in the video I have explaining how to get it, you basically register the mower and as long as they're available, they'll send you one for free, but kind of inconvenient that you have to send away for it now. I think even with the newer recycler smart stows, they still went with that no side discharge, you have to send away for it. So one other thing here that I wanted to talk about is the space taking capabilities. So the handlebars on the 21 inch, they don't have the smart stow capability. So there's a couple of knobs here. You could loosen up, 
fold the handlebars up. It's not really meant to do that. It's meant to put together, stay together. Now on the Recycler 22 inch Smart Stow, there are these two little blue flaps. You flip those up, take your handlebars, flip those back, lock it in place. There's a little handle here and you get to stow it just like that. So really easy to fit this. You'll notice how compact this is. I do this in the winter. Just you can even have your gas normally filled and it won't leak out. So you can kind of set it up, tuck it for the winter and you're good to go. Whereas with the 21 inch non smart stow, you're going to be taking up a little bit more space because the handlebars don't fold so easy and technically you could but it's a little bit of a pain to unscrew those and take the bolts out and fold it it's just not meant for that so the last thing i wanted to cover is the self-propelled part of this so neither of these mowers i have in front of me are the self-paced self-propelled thing i don't like that those as you push the whole handlebar contraption forward it goes faster so theoretically the faster you push the more it propels I feel like I can't control those as well. I've used them before and I prefer the old school handlebar on the bottom. So that's what I opted for. You can still buy the mowers without the self pace piece with just this handle here, down here. I find it much easier to just control how fast I want it to propel just by how far I squeeze this bottom bar in. Now, the difference between the two mowers I have in front of me in terms of self propelled is this 22 inch recycler smart stow, my main self propelled mower here is front wheel drive. The 21 inch is rear wheel drive. Now there's not a huge difference there, but I'm used to on the front wheel drive being able to lift the front wheels off the ground a little bit, which kills obviously any sort of propelling that's going on because the front wheels are driving the power. So if I lift the front wheels off the ground, my power stops, which makes it really nice because I don't have to necessarily let off if I want to back up and turn. I just kind of push down, turn, and then I'm back into it again. Whereas with the 21 inch, the rear wheels are powering. So if I want to lift up and turn, the rear wheels are still powering and so it's going to pull me into that turn. So the only way around that is, of course, to let off on the bar. The only thing I find with that though is it feels a little bit harder to push and pull without the self-propelled on, obviously. So if I'm just kind of wheeling this around or turning it, it's a little bit harder to push than the 22 inch recycler. There's no resistance to this aside from the weight of the mower and we'll talk about that here in a second. This one, there's some resistance. Mower is super light, but there's a little bit of resistance both ways when you're pushing and pulling. Just a couple of things to keep in mind there. And speaking of weight, the 22 inch Recycler Smart Stow is heavier. So these two mowers, this one is a lot lighter. And when you look at them side by side, the deck is beefier on the 22 inch Recycler. The deck is not as beefy here. There's just more to the 22 inch Recycler Smart Stow and that's gonna to contribute to your overall weight. Although the higher rear wheels do make it a little bit easier to push and I have not found this to be like too heavy or anything like that. Um, it helps it not bounce around as much compared to a really light mower. So before we wrap this video up, let's talk about price point here because it's a big factor when you're buying a mower. So the 21 inch non smart stow, this is pretty much the base Toro self propelled that you can get right now. I got this for about $400 US. So in contrast, the Toro 22 inch recycler smart stow is going to run you between 430 and 450. There's a couple of different models you can get with different baggers. So you're talking 30 to $50 more than the 21 inch and you get some things like the smart stow, you get a larger engine, one inch wider on your cut. And while you're still gonna have to send away for that side rear discharge, it gives you some additional features for really not that much extra. So my recommendation would be to pay a little bit more than the base 400 just to get your base model here jump up to something that's going to be just a little bit wider, a little bit more powerful and give you that smart stow capability. I love that, especially if I want to clean out the mower, even if I'm not storing it, I want to clean it out, flip it up, take the spark plug out, flip the mower up, 
scrape out the bottom and I'm good to go. None of this old school like prop it up on a rock while you try to clean out the bottom of the mower deck. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you if you're trying to decide between the different Toro self-propelled mowers out there. If you've got any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, happy mowing. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. I'll talk to you guys later.